Hello there, I'm Sergi Mike right here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I solve power problem on this LG mobile phone that has been down for almost two years in another repairing shop. So I received this phone from another phone technician that is not powering on. I sent my multimeter in diode mode. I tested and I saw a very low reading in the battery connector. So I quickly know that there is a short circuit in the mobile PCB which is not a full shorting that was a half shorting in the VBAD line I'm not talking about the secondary line so I had to inject my DC power supply to the mobile phone so as you can see um, uh, I want to solder some cables in the mobile PCB I connected the GND cable and I also connected the VBAD cable okay so from here I connected the mobile phone to my DC power supply and I switch on the DC power supply then I feel to see if I'm going to get any heat so I felt some heat coming from this section right here I had to disconnect everything then move the mobile phone from the chassis and do a quick test so as you can see I'm plugging out the, the, all the connectors that are in the mobile PCB so that I can actually examine the, the, mobile, the mobile phone clearly while you are watching you can kind of like the video it doesn't take anything for you to give the video a thumbs up okay so i connected the phone again to my dc power supply after connecting it i noticed that there is a lot of heat coming from this particular area in the mobile pcb and so from here i know that there should be a shorting component in that particular area here is my pcb holder i quickly connected the phone to my pcb holder so that i can work on the pcb and i forgot to disconnect the cameras always make sure that you disconnect the cameras before you can do any deep troubleshooting in the mobile pcb okay right here i connected the phone again to my pcb holder so that we can go deep into the mobile pcb as you can see right here i had to cut out the the, the shield because uh, i don't want to heat everything up i always like to cut out if i notice that there are uh, bigger components in the other side of the pcb like capacitors you know uh, like a uh, cpu and a emmc sorry you know that uh, too much heat can cause open circuit i'm not saying that if i hit it i'm going to cause that but it's always good to avoid that yeah if you have to also remove like as you can see i'm doing right here i have to cut everything then easily remove it as you can see it's coming out very easily as you can see right there so the heat was coming out from this section i have to clean every piece of metal in the pcb so as you can see everything right here and also if i had a, a thermal camera i could just connect it then see the particular spot in the mobile pcb that is switching on but thermal camera is very expensive and i don't have that right here so we are just going to use the, our own method of feeling the heat with our hand yeah that's the only way that we can feel the heat right here so i noticed that i wouldn't be able to test the component in this particular area so i had to cut it out so i had to cut it out to have access to be able to test the components in that area using my multimeter while you are watching the video i also have a mobile repairing course which is a, the level one mobile repairing course and the professional level of mobile repairing so if you want to learn how to troubleshoot you can purchase my course so i tested those components capacitors right there and i noticed that there are shorting the vph line was shorting i had to spray the the, the short spray in the mobile pcb the short powder so that i can use this to detect the particular component that is shot in us because i don't have a thermal camera to do that so keep in mind the short powder right here is very important so i notice this uh, a component right here this ice is heating up i spray it again then try to inject voltage in that capacitor which is shorting but there was no component heating up i connected it to the v but and again as you can see that ic is heating up so that's the charging ic which is causing the which is causing the, the vph line to be shortened the vph line is shorting so i had to to remove it 
I had to remove it but keep in mind that because the IC is heating up because oh, while there is a short in a mobile PCB doesn't mean that the IC is bad so the reason why I removed it I removed it so that I can do test but after I removed it I removed it and uh, there was still a short in the mobile PCB as you can see I inject uh, connected my cable and injected voltage in the mobile PCB and I noticed that there is a lot of heat coming from this section this time so I had to cut it out this little area had to cut it out the same way that I did at first okay so I just had to cut it out slowly and you if you are using this metal to cut out the shield you need to be very careful because just one mistake the uh, drilling machine will, can just cut out all lines in the PCB so you have to take it slowly so as you can see how I easily pulled off the shield and then and there was a lot of damage right here corrosion right here which means that this is surely water damage so I had to clean everything before I can perform any testing to see if there is a shot and yeah there was a shot right here so there was a shot which means that we have a big problem right here so i had to spray the area again with a short spray had to spray it then as you can see the capacitor melt off so i just removed it that capacitor was shortened clean everything and i dissolved that a cable in which i sold that to inject the voltage in a mobile pcb so from here i had to replace back the icing which i removed right here because it seems like the uh, shorting capacitor that we just removed right here was causing the the uh, charging IC to heat up instead you understand so we have to replace and I saw this area it seems like the, it was bad but I when I zoom in everything was okay so I had to clean off the chip so that we can rebuild this chip so you can see everything everything looks good right here so I had to remake the solder balls using a universal stencil so you can see right here there are no uh, space in the IC and everything looks good well those of you who are watching planning to comment and tell me that I'm not perfect in rebelling no need to do that <laughs> I already know I'm not perfect in rebelling but I get the job done anyway okay so I rebelled it as you can see the IC right here I was using a universal stencil that's why everything is so messy right there so I had to clean everything and everything then replace the chip just like that as easy as that so after replacing the chip I noticed that there is there was still a shot after replacing the chip connecting and I switch on the phone this IC <laughs> busting flames right here so I had to, to remove the the capacitor that was shot in there connected the phone and as you can see everything is working and the phone is charging without replacing that charging IC Okay, if you want to learn, don't forget to message me on WhatsApp or visit my YouTube store in the comment section.